Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam and welcome to the Kitty Cam vlog. Um, I hope y'all having a wonderful day or evening. Um, before we get started, um, I want to uh, throw a disclaimer out there to let you guys know um, that I won't be, um, what I'm trying to say. I'm throwing this disclaimer because uh, just to let you know, we are reacting to My 600 Pound Life. And of course, we'll just our white head. And also, um, I am not laughing at their condition. I'm only laughing at Justin R. Whitehead as he is um, pretty much uh, doing reaction on this video. I mean, not video, the show. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little tired and stuff, so please bear with me. But other than that, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. And let us get started. That happened there. But I always see too far in the future for myself. All I do is go day by day. I don't really like set big goals. I just take what life throws at me. But I'm glad Stephen is gone to live here again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. So him and his brother must got some goddamn beef or something then. But I might have to stay out of my home. Because ever since we were really young, we just never had nothing wrong. Mm, not enough food for you sons of bitches, huh? Damn. Ain't enough food in here for both of us. Right. Now, what in the fuck is this? Wow. What in the fuck is that? Uh-uh. Oh, you big nasty-ass elephant. He was like, what the fuck is that? I'm done. Because that child got kneecap skin everywhere. I'm done. Oh my god, just look at this shit here. So me and my younger brother Dustin put up with a lot of abuse because of that. Mm. It was arguments all the time, fighting. When Stephen and Jesse were small, their mother didn't have a drinking problem. And Man, she wasn't drinking by herself. You like a fucking slushy goddamn self. <laughs> I know you have a damn taste. Damn. You probably got the bitch on it. Uh, Man, cover this motherfucker up. We get the damn picture. mother took off at night. She used to clubbing, and she used to leave food out for us. Y'all mama was a goddamn crackhead. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Damn. That's why you mad at him. That's why you damn mad at him. You just told it. Right there. Listen at this shit here. You just fucking told it right here. Wow. Mm -mm. She used to go clubbing, drinking. And she used to leave food out for us because she was never there. And Stephen is very greedy. And every time there was food around, before I could eat it, he would already have toppled it down. That's why he mad right now. Wow. I'd have kicked his fat ass. <laughs> you know, with some of the, that was going on, I mean, I was still really upset. Man. Because my mom's boyfriend was her in the I was beaten physically by her boyfriend. But my mom knew, and she didn't care. Why she's too busy to get drunk. Damn. And I think that's why I started going to food. So all you motherfuckers so are addicted to something. Ate a lot, and we gained a lot over the next couple of years. Damn. Let's go back to my childhood days. This fat son bitch just joking for clout. For, uh, for, for clout. That's all this shit is. That's all the only reason he up here. I don't give a fuck. They ain't got nothing to do with this goddamn weight loss shit. You's a grown ass man. Somebody, somebody abandoned you. You ain't had to eat the damn shit. Damn. When Jesse was about nine, Stephen was about fifteen. Making a damn excuse. She went out one night and never came home. I wouldn't come back to that son of a bitch either. Just came and lived with me. My mom decided to start a new life with a new boyfriend and leave us. 
Her drunk bitch pack, packed up her outfit, got her bottles, and got the fuck on. I'd have left too. The fuck I'm keep coming out spending all my liquor money on you fat bastards for. <laughs> what is it? So the mama went out one night and then come back. You goddamn right. Every single night. When Jesse was about nine, he Stephen was about 15. Their mother, she went out one night and never came home. Toodles, bitch. So Stephen. Justin came to live with me. Mm. My mom decided to start a new life with a new boyfriend and leave us. Track, Ain't no need to waste her time with you motherfuckers. Y'all don't want to do nothing but sit around and eat. Wow. Mama got to have, have a damn life. And I swear, I weigh about 250 pounds. Yeah, yeah. 250 pounds, motherfucker. You have enough to be working and feeding your goddamn self. I wouldn't give a damn how old you are. I try to keep less food in my house. But Steven wanted pizza all the time. He just fell in love with pizza. I wouldn't give a fuck. If Steven couldn't pay for it, he wouldn't get it. <laughs> get hand on the hip like a bitch. I just took control. Damn. See, you the damn problem. You the goddamn problem. Any man sit up there to my he can't control his kids and it's a fucking boy. You need to have your goddamn ass whooped. Somebody ought to be yeah. evaluating your ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You weak bitch. <laughs> I try to keep less food in my house. But Steven wanted pizza all the time. He just we'll give a goddamn what Steven want. Steven get what the fuck I give him. And he got a, a tantrum ass whooping. I just took control. I bet my motherfucking tantrum will be worse than his. You stupid son of a bitch. I don't know, hand me that shit. Ain't this a bitch? I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear his motherfucker say he dropped the charges on the song bit for a large piece. Wow. He got arrested, and he told me to drop the charges, and he would get me a large pizza if I did. And so I did. Wow. Ain't this a bitch? So Justin, just ate and did this is fucked up. A number of years and gained even more. You done called the law on your dad because he trying to yeah. whoop your fat ass in the damn shape. When I was 17 years old, and Justin was 300 pounds and was around yeah. 12 years old. Wow. I told Stephen a hundred times. Why? What are you doing to yourself? He's got his fat ass about him. And then, when Stephen was 25, the mother called him up, and she said she was going to take care of him. She offered to pay for me to move to Massachusetts to be close to her. I wonder how much it costs to ship your fat ass all the way to Massachusetts. Damn. But I didn't see her once I moved there. Damn. I finally gave up on her at that point. So I decided to eat more. Oh, yeah. Put it on your mama. Too. You seen your ass now looking like a goddamn dried off whale. Well. And I ate basically what I love, pizza. At that time, I was eating about six large pizzas a day. Damn. Oh, you just a fat, I sorry know. son of a bitch also, looking for a goddamn excuse to eat a damn pizza. Because I was trying to deal with a lot of anger about my life. And my mom. I'm just so damn sorry to hear that. And I people look at it. Just look. Man, I ain't going to even get on that. I'm done, yo. You ain't got no trouble but to control yourself. You can't move that much your fucking neck and wrist. Just take all of them. Stephen really, really yeah. get out of control being by himself. He couldn't move around no more like he wanted to, and he just didn't care about life anymore. I know that motherfucker smell like. Now look at this shit here. Wow. Just look at that. I'm done. And I was in the upper 600s at that time. 
Stephen came back home and he was up to his little tricks of abusing me mentally. He couldn't hit me physically because he didn't get up. But he used to pound on the wall over and over again. Oh, you was just a big, weak bitch. Damn. Both of y'all. Some big, fat, puss ass, hungry ass boys. I have to stay in a hospital because I just can't walk or get around on my own anymore. Mm. Until the last one kicked me out. And now I have to find a way to go to Houston because Dr. Nazarin is the last person that I can go to. Really glad this is happening. So no matter what oh happens, boy, you sons of bitches got to go all the way from Rhode Island to Texas. Now that I got to see. Medical transport. Now Amna's got to haul your big ass all the way to Texas. You got the nerve to have that goddamn mattress on the damn floor, that weak ass box spring. And my son Justin wants to come with me. That your back problem right there. Look at that shit. Now you know good and goddamn well your big fat ass can't lay down on that. I can't even lay down on that. I'm done, yo. I'm very nervous because I'm not sure how You wash your stinking ass before you go. I ain't seen you bathe yet. At least the keepers came in there and hosed your brother big fat ass down. You got damn right it's ridiculous. I said that 10 minutes ago. Oh, you just a sorry ass excuse for a fucking daddy. You about worse than them puss ass men out with damn standing outside of Arcata High. Begging for their damn daughter. And that's why he wants to see this doctor to talk to her. But going to Houston, I have to find a way to get out. Y'all need to put his ass on that fucking boat. I bet it'll be cheaper. Gotta ship this big son bitch all the way to goddamn. Look at it. It ain't even a regular goddamn bed. I ain't even know the hospital had though. Look, look. Them folk gonna pull a goddamn muscle in now. They ain't trained to do that. Put that damn iPad down. Now that's gonna make no damn sense. This man gotta haul your big ass in a fucking Winnebago. <laughs> they had to get a goddamn Winnebago, man. I'm done. But I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Just look at it. All that goddamn body. Oh my god. He said all that goddamn body. Because there's a lot of things that can happen health-wise. Uh, so, this whole thing goes smoothly. And these folks had to go from goddamn essential workers to fucking furniture movers. <laughs> Them folks ain't even wore no shoes or no damn clothes to work to be in there moving your ass like that. <laughs> <laughs> No goddamn hard ass labor for your fat ass. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Justin is crazy, y'all. Let me tell you something. Y'all can sit here and feel sorry for these sons of bitches all you want to. I don't even know how the fuck they even let themselves get that goddamn big, man. Yeah. I mean, what in the fuck? And then his dad is sitting his ass over there talking about, oh, I couldn't control him. Mm. What type of shit is that? Mm -mm. How the fuck you can't control your boys and what they eat? You the one got to buy the grocery, you sorry bastard. Yep. <laughs> I went buying that in the house if it wasn't fucking green. 
<laughs> I wouldn't put them but broccoli, lettuce, asparagus, all that type of shit. You wouldn't have no, you wouldn't have no, no type of damn meat. <laughs> no fucking snacks. Mm-mm. I wouldn't even bring no. I'm telling you, wouldn't be nothing but fucking water in the house to damn drink. And to make sure of it, I wouldn't even buy nothing to damn drink. A fat bastard have to go stick his hand on the damn sink. <laughs> I wish the fuck you would call a pizza man over there while I'm at home. I whoop both of your ass. <laughs> Take that goddamn pizza on back where you got it from. Because won't nobody be biting that bitch in here. Mm. Damn. No, the shit ridiculous. I don't feel sorry for the bitch. These <laughs> motherfuckers had to rent a damn Winnebago to take this motherfucker out. Man, hold on. Man, he's sending his fat ass back down goddamn YouTube. You don't post nowhere yet. You ain't driving. You lost that luxury. I'm traveling to Houston in a medical RV, and I still have a long way to go. Like 25 to 30 hours at least. These folk had to have a goddamn nurse to ride with your ass. You just cost too goddamn much money. <laughs> damn. Nigga, his big ass sitting back there in the damn back seat, and I had to push the fucking passenger side up. Oh, you weren't talking to me like that. Talking about somebody gonna get it for you. Look, look, just look at your fat ass. You ain't had no business eating no goddamn fries. See, this, this the damn, that's the goddamn issue right now. Who gave him that fucking bag? Go back. Now, who I think the gave him the that nurse damn bag? Somebody gave it to him. The damn nurse gave him the shit. <laughs> what in the fuck you there for? <laughs> it's almost impossible not to give it. I'm done. This you is crazy. Can't resist the craving. Oh, this is counterproductive as a son of a bitch. I hope he <laughs> in hell when them damn onions are sesame seed and choke his fat ass. Where I'm not sure when oh my I God. Eat my face is hurting. And I'm it makes laughing. Me want to eat. Every time we pass a place with food. Well, close the goddamn curtains in. How the hell can you see the fucking... Man. Because I don't know how long it's gonna be. I wouldn't stop the son of a bitch. Mm. You nasty son of a bitch. <laughs> you fat, nasty motherfucker, you. No, it ain't had nothing to do with the damn bump. It's you see your big fat ass on top of the goddamn bed. And when it bump, you jump. I'm done. <laughs> Just look at that shit. Look, man, I be goddamn. And I know that's made of cold damn steel. <laughs> I know it. Oh, shit. Oh. Ain't this a bitch. Now you done fucked up these folks' bed. Look at that shit, man. <laughs> now they got to get oh, a goddamn shit. spare tire off the man. Wow. Oh, you know you's a big son of a bitch. Cause of you! Wow. Hell no. Boy. Look at this shit. Wow. Look, just look at this shit. You done tore up that goddamn van. You, you what's wrong with the goddamn truck? Wow. Lord, how mercy Jesus. Ain't this? <laughs> you, your legs ain't the only thing fat. You fat. <laughs> your ass down. is fat. Oh don't talk to them damn folks like that. The fuck wrong with you? Shut up. 
Oh, boy, I promise you. I've been there punching your ass every damn well. <laughs> the fuck if he won't. He just broke the goddamn bed. Boy, look at this shit here. Now, I know goddamn well these folks ain't have to get a damn center block <laughs> and plywood just for your gut, boy. I don't fucking believe this. <laughs> Wow. Oh, would you just fucking look at this? I'm but goddamn leaveable. I'm done. Look at that shit. Damn. They done had to get a goddamn center block of some plywood to prop your goddamn bed up to make it down the goddamn road. I can't with if he break a center block, leave his fat ass on the damn highway like a broke down wheel, like a damn tow up car. Just look at that shit. Just look at this shit here. Thank you. Who just the first breakfast and now throwing back them goddamn muffins and shit. You don't run no damn body. I hope that damn coffee burn the hell out of you. Oh, you you just damn disgust me. Uh, excuse me, bitch, you won't get none. I will forget mine. I wouldn't give a fuck how pissed off you get. You can want it all you goddamn want. Block his damn number. How the fuck are you damn weak? Look at you with a damn attitude. Wow. You wouldn't damn give me that fucking back talk. You wouldn't call me with that damn attitude. Every time you call my phone, it'll be another hour before I stop your fat ass somewhere to get something to bite. Wouldn't give a wow. damn how mad you get. Yeah. Just look at this shit. I wouldn't have got him a goddamn thing. Wow. He wouldn't have gotten until we got to the fucking hospital. His next meal would have been some fucking graham crackers, chip ice, and a damn grape cranberry juice. And then every 100 miles, we had to stop because we want to eat. You know, I understand that, but not every 100 miles. Well, what the fuck you stop for then? Don't come back here talking to us about it. Right. Quit being a bitch. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make it to Houston today. Don't talk to me. Keep driving that goddamn wheel. Keep going. Don't stop. Look, just look. You's a sorry son of a bitch. This don't make no goddamn sense. Oh, shut the fuck up. Obviously, you can't wait to see it. Because I'd have been the first motherfucker to give him that little ass hamburger and all of that shit. Get your stupid ass out from in there and go dry that damn band wherever the fuck y'all going. Hoping that when we get there, Stephen doesn't mess it up. Because I need help too. But I think you know. 
You just a bitch. Shut up. You always complain about something. Wow. Got something to say. Like you in any better shape. Use a bag of chip away from this motherfucker. Hear your goddamn self. Shut your bitch ass mouth. <laughs> Oh, country ass dad is stinking Marlboro cigarette smoking son bitch. All he doing is enabling oh, the motherfucker. <laughs> going to get him all that damn food. <laughs> and then want to talk about how he, boy. You the damn reason. That motherfucker can't stop the truck from the back. Mm -mm. He can't go and get no fucking food from the damn back. You got to stop that motherfucker and get it for him. Want to come back here and try to talk to me about this shit. Bitch, if you don't get your ass up there and drive that damn truck. Damn. Or whatever the fuck you driving. And get these boys up there where they can get some damn help. Because you ain't shit. Mm -mm. You can't fucking do nothing for them. You, you can't do shit with these damn boys. You stupid mm -hmm. sorry bastard. If I were mama, I'd go off and get drunk with another motherfucker, too. <laughs> you ain't shit. You probably couldn't fuck her right. You couldn't <laughs> raise your boys. So I know oh, you probably God. couldn't be a good damn husband. Mm. I can't do nothing with him. The first time that son of a bitch would have called the police on me because he couldn't get nothing to eat, he'd have had to leave with the police. Wow. You get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hell no. Man, this shit got me hot. <laughs> Talking about a damn boy. Oh my goodness. Not in the damn loading dock. He said loading dock. <laughs> oh shit. This don't make no damn sense. Ain't nobody never should have to goddamn go in the back of the fucking hospital like that. Like they bringing in some damn hospital beds or machines. Wow. I bet it is. Look at that. Just fucking look at that. You got you got something on your hands, Doc. You in for one. This big bitch. <laughs> the fuck you laughing at? I understand your yeah, yeah, he's the other big guy. He's Oh, boy, look at this shit here. I'm done. I'm just tired of feeling the bombs right now. He ain't actually from all the traveling. And being on the road for a few days, that ain't no damn fit up there. <laughs> just look. Just look. Why this motherfucker's stomach just oh done God. fell over to the damn right. I'm done. So I'm really looking forward to finally getting closer to the damn truck. Man, I know folk don't want to see that shit. Pull that goddamn gown down. Whatever the wow. fuck that is you got on. Look at that lady got the damn. Wow. Push. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Okay, so we're going to run some paper on you. Make sure that there are no issues, okay? Okay. Simon is casually asking for some pain medication, but his body language shows that he really wants it. Yeah, this is the lot of hurt. He mentions. Are you happy to see her? Yeah. That's because the
You just want somebody to sit up there and take care of your fat ass and give you food and drugs. Look at it. Wow. Somebody this body hurt. Your body didn't hurt when you were stretching the motherfucker that damn wide. Mm. Yes, Lee Brook and Walt. I tell you what the fuck going on. They don't know how to quit eating. Too much goddamn weight on it. I ain't even a fucking doctor, and I can tell you that. I don't have now a goddamn medical degree. And I know what the fuck wrong with his leg from here. Son of a bitch got too much weight and pressure on it. Bot got damn fluid riding his knee. Look at this big bitch. I always in there want to hold your damn stomach up so somebody can wipe up on it when you ought to be able to do it your damn self. Just laid back, want somebody to rub on your stinking fat ass. Wow. Easy, 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 my ass. Shut the fuck up and let them folks damn do what the hell they need to damn do for you. Oh, you shut the fuck up. I wish they'd quit putting your ass on the damn camera. <laughs> damn. And the well, get up and move then. He wants to go back home. That's why he's upset. You want to stay? No. No, that fat bastard don't want no help. Man, y'all keep going out getting that motherfucker medicine. Look, you don't even need to be talking to him Cause he's an enabler That weak bitch Motherfucker wear a work shirt 24-7 You know he ain't got no damn sense I don't give a damn about no tantrum Them the one I like I give his ass a tantrum back You think you mad I bet you straighten the fuck up once I go in there and nut up. Well, get his fat ass on the body of that end. Let him go and have a damn stroke or a heart attack. It's fucked up. That fuck L.U. Ain't nobody got to beg you to get well. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Let him sit over there that good damn woman like a damn fool. Fuck him. Get him out of there. Fuck him. <laughs> Dog. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> I slapped that goddamn phone out of his hand. You sitting there turn your damn back on me, and I'm trying to help you get well. I wish a damn heart attack on you tonight. Get by. Get him out of there. Somebody else sick and coming in late on. Mm-hmm. Fuck him. Wow. I'm throwing a damn tantrum. But look at that shit. I swear, people cause the scene on TV, I'm telling you. It's crazy. I see you laid his fat ass on down. I see you laid on back. Y'all the reason they act like that, giving them a damn choice. Sitting out playing along with the shit. You haul off and knock the goddamn hell out of them, they'll quit going back and forth with you. <laughs> Show them who the damn parent and who the damn child. You wouldn't talk back to me. 
You'll need help with that and get your damn lips stitched up. And got the nerve to be in that damn carrying on like this. You get your fat ass back and go in your damn room. Look at that. You ain't had no business getting your fucking ass up going down there to pick on him. You're down there meddling. And I got stuck. That's what the fuck you get. Going down there and trying to pick and start some shit and can't even get back to your damn bed. Ah, ha. Stupid motherfucker. Need to be using that energy to try to wash your ass. Quit bugging them folks to come in there. Look, look at that shit. Just look at that. And you got the nerve to want to go down there and meddle at somebody. Lay your ass down and shut the fuck up. It would be better if we could do this together. So the reality of all this, and then I'm going to be alone, is sinking in. And this is all getting really, really scary. I bet it is. I'm not staying because I wasn't supposed to stay. And I should have come here. Look, man, you ain't got to keep on threatening nobody to leave. Just get the fuck on. Damn. This is his deal. And this help is all to him. Load up and haul ass. Ain't nobody begging you. Get the fuck on. Damn. Why like he doing somebody a favor? <laughs> the fuck out of here. He lied. <laughs> Yo. Look at that. He go again. Laid back like a damn gigolo. <laughs> like a damn pimp. Want somebody to bathe and rub on his fat ass. Wow. And still in there got the damn nerve to be chewing. I promise you, I've been out rubbing hard as fuck. I bathed his ass off with some damn water off the damn coffee pot. Ooh. I will scald your fat ass. I bet you won't want nobody else to come in there and rub you down. I bet you won't want nobody else to come in there and wipe you off and I get through with you. Look at that shit. That'll be the damn day you learn to wipe your own ass. Well, it's not good. Man, I got the smoke. I can't keep looking at this shit. I done felt myself sweating. My whole, the whole backside of my body just damn sweating. <laughs> oh, I'm so goddamn aggravated and annoyed with you fat son of a bitches. Oh, my God. I know I can't handle looking at one of you motherfuckers. Now that you ain't getting me to her. <laughs> I hope you bite your damn jaw. The inside of it. Well, you can't eat nothing with salt in it. Just look at that, you big swole bastard. Ain't now damn body been made when nobody designed to be goddamn stretched out like that. God Almighty. I don't blame your mama for getting that fuck on. I'm not looking forward to this diet. What is that shit? I promise you I wouldn't give it to him. Not even in the damn hospital. Some fast food or something. I'd probably eat it. Because I'm a fast food junkie. No, because you's a fat son of a bitch. <laughs> you's a damn hungry hippo. Oh yeah, don't leave none. Make sure you get it all. Whatever you do. My dad will order me something as a going away present because he and my brother are going back today. Mm. And it's kind of sad. I'm just used to seeing him every day. Mm. It's very hard. I'm hoping I can talk just This again. son of a bitch gonna chew the whole episode away. Mm. Now they got him in the same room just to start some shit. And he done went home and ain't changed shirts. Wow. That fucker that done had that same outfit on since they left the damn house. Damn. You need to stay there and let somebody wash your ass off. Sit down. Wow. 
Stinking ass. ass. I bet they about ready for you to get that fuck out of there anyway, smelling like spam. <laughs> spam. <laughs> he is a damn cow. That's what you raise. Livestock. That's just what the fuck you got. Man, where my damn blood at? Because I know I'm going to have to go smoke. Good morning. No, don't no, go back in there begging this bitch. Let him go on on to the house. Quit bargaining with him. No, he want to remain a fat motherfucker for the rest of his days. I wouldn't give a goddamn what he do. I wouldn't give a good goddamn what he change. Hmm. Look, damn. all the more reason you need to lay your ass down on one of them beds while you got the damn opportunity. Yeah. Look at this stupid ass standing back there. Oh boy, y'all got a dumb ass damn. Guardian. <laughs> Doc, he ain't losing no damn pounds. He don't want to be a part of this shit. Quit bothering that man. Let him go on. on. Stinking ass. He ain't bathed since they left Rhode Island. Damn. No, he don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> Bye. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Thank you. I'm really glad there are no major issues with my heart or anything bad right now. Come on. Let's go. But I think the best thing. Get your ass on the body there. You don't want to stay. The fuck you hang around for? Look at him. He don't want to be in there neither. He just wants some damn medicine and somebody to wipe his fat ass off. Wow. He ain't in there to obey. To do what's right. Son of a bitch ain't got now intention on doing right. Oh, look at this shit here. Oh, my God. Get the fuck on up out of there. Just get the hell on up out of there. Oh, look at this shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, get the fuck on up out of there. See, look at this shit. I don't want nobody to tell me bye if you don't want to tell me bye. Fuck you. Stupid asses. Damn. I've never been more than a couple hours away from my family. So let me guess, you want to eat? What if something happens and they can't get to me in time? Look, you was in worse hand with them motherfuckers. To to them. If didn't happen when you were with them, ain't nothing gonna happen while you're in a damn emergency. So that was it for that. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this long video. Um, man, it's it's crazy. It's it's crazy how um people could eat a lot and eat so much and they just get just big you know and this is crazy though like man but uh but before i go for anybody that's you know that's going through that type of situation please seek help please find someone to talk to if you don't have no one to talk to or anything like that at least seek um someone professional and talk to them you know because i don't like to see people you know eat they self away like that because it's very disturbing and it's just you know it just it's sad it really is sad and it's too and it's and it's crazy because you got it's like young is young people then you know middle-aged people you know what i'm saying that's you know that's going through it you know so but uh i do hope he lost the weight um i don't know if I could find part two of this, I'm not for sure. But um, but other than that, y'all, if y'all uh know the updates of uh the guy, whatever, make sure y'all uh comment uh under the video. 
other than that, y'all, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Um, make sure you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you'll miss out any streams like this. I said streams, right? I meant to say. <laughs> I meant to say video. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just a little tired, so please bear with me. But other than that, y'all, have a good night. Stay blessed, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye.